this video on tone generation using LPC 2148. In this uh, program, we have used LPC 2148 and a speaker. So in addition to this, if you want to implement this practically, then we may need some extra circuit in between this speaker and LPC 2148. But for simulation, we can directly connect the output of uh, LPC 2148 to the speaker. So uh, we'll now see the uh, code for write, generating the tone uh, using LPC 2148. So uh, this is the code for uh, generating the tone. Here we have included the header file. Then we have de uh, declared two delay functions, delay one and delay two. Uh, these both delay functions will have different uh, delay values. Then in the main program, we have declared one variable uh, int i and now here we have used pin cell 0 equal to 0 0 this is again used for uh, making the uh, pins as gpio uh, so with pin cell 0 the lower 16 pins of port 0 will be configured as gpio pins that is general purpose input output pins after that uh, we have used iodir 0 now uh, we are going to generate the uh, tone on p 0 0.4 pin so generating a tone is nothing but generating different uh, frequency waveforms on a particular pin so on p 0.4 we are going to generate a square wave of with different frequencies so for that the p 0.4 pin must be configured as output pin so for making that pin as output we can put this value in iodir 0 register or alternatively we can use 0x01 and shift it by four times both are uh, same then inside the while uh, one loop we have uh, written three different for loops so this is the first for loop this is second for loop and here we have third for loop so we have uh, generated uh, three different frequency waveforms so uh, for the first uh, waveform we have used uh, a for loop for a uh, i equal to 0 to 50 so this waveform will be generated 50 times and in this uh, wave uh, for loop we have used io clear 0 and we have used this value so this one corresponds to p 0.4 so uh, that p 0.4 pin will be cleared then we have called a delay one function after that again io set 0 again we have used the same value so again p 0.4 pin will be set uh, to logic 1 uh, and after that again a delay 1 function is called and this will be repeated for 50 number of times after that uh, the next for loop we have again from 0 to 50 but now here the only difference is that instead of using delay 1 we have used here delay 2 uh, for both on time as well as for off time so uh, again we will get a waveform with different on and off time periods then in the third for loop again we have uh, used everything same just the, the difference is uh, we have uh, used both the delays that is delay 1 as well as delay 2 uh, for on time as well as for off time and we are going to generate this waveform for 20 number of times so uh, as you change this value the uh, sound uh, generated will be a different or the tone generated will be different then inside this uh, uh, delay routines we have just taken one variable and just incremented that variable to a specific value now here we have used 1400 and 4000 but for simulation we'll use 200 so i'll just make that change over here so 200 and here we'll use 600 now once we do those changes we can build the program and uh, the hex file will be generated now that hex file we have to download on the simulation ic so for that double click on this and click on this folder just select the hex file and click on open and click on ok now if i play click on play the sound will be generated we 
have a logic analyzer i've already set up for p0.4 so if i run this directly the waveform will be available over here now if i zoom in i will get three different type of waveforms over here so you can see that here this is a, a high frequency waveform then this is a slightly low frequency waveform and this is the lowest frequency waveform so three different type of waveforms are generated and the same waveforms are used for generating the tone so uh, this is about the tone generation using lpc 2148 the link for the source code and the simulation is available in the description of the video thank you